This is Giant Trader. The pitch just closed here about 15 minutes ago. So we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels will be posted along with the EIA report. This video is for information purposes only. No recommendation to buy, sell any stock, buy the ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude, your daily chart. Now, today it was working it, got above the eight day, went right into the 50 day and then sold right down, okay? This is why you trade the charts, all right? So when we had the big gap up here on Monday, okay, it went right into the one uh, eight SMA here and couldn't get through, held that on a closing basis, held that on a closing basis, and then now you're right below the 50 and you're right below the eight day. So now when the futures open today at six o'clock, you'll notice that that eight day will be right on lower and the price will be lower. Okay, so let's just take a look here on the upside first. So you wanna look at that eight SMA here, you're looking at 84.78, you wanna look at the 50 day at 85.28. If you can get above and close above, then we look to this level right here, you're looking at um, 86.51, uh, 86.74, uh, we have uh, 87.24, and then we wanna look to the five minutes candle here, you have uh, 87.76, and then we have your 21-day sitting at 88.46. That is going to be big resistance levels. Now, you can see how the 21-day is starting to roll over here, okay? So this is not very very bullish-looking chart here at all. Now, the only reason it's not sitting at that 21-day or that 200-day is because of the war going on there in the Middle East. So what we want to do is you want to look here at bottom of today's candle, okay? So that's 82.31, uh, okay? Then what we want to do here is you want to look to the bottom of this candle. That's 82.15. And then we have your retest there of 81.50, okay? Now, again, if that's lost, then we're looking right here at this 100 SMA, 79.26. And then we're looking at 77.70, your 200-day. That is the one that you're really, really uh, looking at here, if this 81.50 lot, that is your big target. Now, your RSI here, it was trying to work itself up again, just flatten right out. Your uh, MACD looks like it's going to definitely going to go lower. You need to have that curl up here for it to go higher. So this is looking bearish. This is looking bearish. And the chart is looking very, very bearish. Okay, so keep that in mind. But again, if something would happen in return, with all the politics going on here, just watch the key eight SMA on the upside. Watch that 50-day SMA on the upside, and then a close above. Then we can go right here to your 88.45. Uh, uh, that would be your level. Now, the API number out was last night. had a huge build. Uh, today, it confirmed here another huge build in crude here. So just be very, very careful. I am currently uh, short, have been short, and I was just scalping the logs. All right, let's take a look here on a weekly and a monthly. Okay, your monthly chart. Well... You got time to roll. It's only the 12th. So upside, 86.72. Downside, key level here, 78.73. Okay, which lines up very, very nice here with everything that's going on here. Now, here on your weekly chart here, well, you know, I always said if you could hold that area like it did here, then rally back up here. Couldn't do it. Really not this time of the year, the time frame. Basically, you had a rally on up here uh, uh, this week here because of the what's going on there in the Middle East. But that's pretty much it. Usually what you want to do is you want to sell into the situations like that. And then, um, uh, like me, I'm short, and then I'm just scalping the longs daily. All right. Now, again, uh, we've got to watch here of last week's candle. Um, that's that 81.50. And then we have right below it, you have that 79.59. And then we have your 50-day, 78.32. If that 50-day is lost right here, okay, it happens to close below right there. 69.51, that is your big target. You can see how many times it held, but that is your big target here, okay? So now your MACD looks like it wants to roll over. That green crosses that red. Uh, say goodnight, Irene, she's going lower, okay? Your RSI, well, that's still hanging in there, trying to work it, but uh, it, it just looks like a very, very bearish pattern. If this was some other time of the year here, maybe you have a chance here. It just looks very uh, bearish. All right, let's take a look here on the old natural gas. Okay, natural gas really didn't do a whole lot there today. Just trading in a very, very tight range here inside day. Uh, basically, we just have this sideways action here, okay? So bottom line here, uh, you want to watch on the upside, you want to watch that key 8 SMA here. Okay, let me see if I can 
put it in there. Yeah, 3.35. Then you want to wish at that 21 day at 3.36. And then we have your 100 day, 3.368. And then we have your 3.77. That is your 50 day. Your retest here is 3.428. And then we can go up to here to this 3.45. If you can get above that here, then 3.447 is your big target here. But this is a very, very tight range here. Uh, yesterday was a really good scalp here, came right on down, and then rally had a nice good rally up here. Now today it tried to do anything, but it just could not make that higher high and just sideways action. Kind of an indecision going on here. Same way with the four hour chart here. Got a nice gap up, boom, 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 and then uh, sideways action here. So really, really nothing here until you can really close above that key 3.47. So let's look at a daily and a weekly. Okay, here we are, we have the old daily. So what do we have here? Well, we have an inside day today, okay? So upside, you have to look at these candles here. That's that 3.45, there's your 3.47, a close above, then you can go higher. Where are we gonna go? Look to the bottom of this candle here, okay? That's 3.52, look to the top of this candle, 3.59, and then the top of that candle right there is 3.78, which lines up very, very nice. 3.78 here on your uh, weekly chart, your 200 SMA. On a downside, really watch this key 50 day, 3.228. That's going to be very, very critical here. Um, right here, this is your 3.24. This is your 8 SMA here. Now, uh, when the futures open up, this will go higher here. So, just basically, right now, you just have a sideways pattern going here. So, basically, you want to watch this 3.24. You want to watch this 3.22. And if that is lost here, then we start coming down here. So you have 3.16 here. And then we come to the top of this candle here at 3.05. And then we have your retest at basically 3.02. And then you can come down to your 21 day, your 50 day here, your 200, 100. And then your big retest here is going to be this 100. Okay, as long as it holds at 2.65, this is still a very, very bullish pattern. Eventually, this gap will be filled, just not today. But we do have a nice sideways action going here. Uh, so, But right now, it's just a real tight range here. Uh, I did scalp the UNG today. I got 20, uh, 20 cents out of the, uh, of the UNG. Uh, if you could close above, then I would take a longer position. I had 20,000 shares. But I would even take a longer position if you can close above that 3.47 because then I know 3.78 is going to be the target. Um, now, I do have orders in here. If it would happen to pull back here, you have a lot of good support levels here. So if it comes down here and even retests as low as here, that would still be no problem at all. But just watch the futures here once they open at 6 p.m. here. These SMAs here will be much higher, okay, as they rally in. All right, that's all I got for you there today. I will have more for you tomorrow before 8 o'clock on the crude and the natural gas. And thanks for watching.